criminal investigation is complete and law enforcement has decided to make an arrest. Today, I want to take you out of the crowded courtroom and discuss arrest, arrest warrants, and what the police need to make an arrest. There are two ways that a police officer can make an arrest. First, the general rule is that a police officer must obtain an arrest warrant signed by a judge. Second, there are many exceptions to the requirement that they obtain an arrest warrant. So police officers can often make an arrest without a warrant based on their own determination that probable cause exists. Either way, there must be probable cause to make the arrest. If an arrest warrant is obtained, the judge decides that there is probable cause when he or she issues the warrant. If an arrest warrant is not obtained, the police officer determines that there is probable cause. And a judge will then make an independent determination whether there is probable cause at the first appearance hearing, usually based on the facts laid out in the police officer's sworn police report. Probable cause is evidence that would lead a reasonable person to believe that a crime has occurred, is occurring, or is about to occur. It's a very, very low standard. The evidence used by the police to establish probable cause can come from witness testimony, physical evidence, your own statements, and much more. There's no certain amount of evidence that is required. Probable cause is often established by nothing more than the uncorroborated statement of one person. For example, if a listed victim calls the police and says that you pushed him, the police can make an arrest for battery based on nothing more than that person's statement. Unless there is an exception, the police officer must obtain an arrest warrant. Typically, a police officer will draft an arrest warrant affidavit stating the evidence against you and will go to a judge's chambers to have the judge sign the warrant. This is usually done without notifying you or your attorney. A warrant can be issued without your knowledge. The judge will review the affidavit and if satisfied with the evidence, will sign the warrant and either decide what your bond should be and affix it to the warrant or not issue a bond in certain situations and leave it to the first appearance judge to issue a bond within 24 hours of arrest. There are exceptions to the requirement to obtain an arrest warrant. If an officer makes an arrest without a warrant, a judge will decide whether there is probable cause within 24 hours at your first appearance hearing. An officer can make an arrest without a warrant if you are alleged to have committed any of the following. A crime in the presence of an officer, a felony, a DUI, a violation of injunction, an act of domestic violence, child abuse, battery, criminal mischief, and some other crimes. If you are arrested without a warrant, your bond will be set at the first appearance hearing. In some misdemeanors, and at the discretion of the police officer, he or she can issue a notice to appear instead of making a physical arrest. Police officers do not have to read you your Miranda rights when they make an arrest. Miranda rights relate to custodial interrogation. In other words, if the officers question you while you are in custody, they must read you your rights before the questioning begins or the statements may be thrown out. However, if they don't ask you any questions, they do not have to read you your rights. If you are arrested, it's extremely important that you invoke your right to remain silent and invoke your right to an attorney. And once you're at the jail, if you make a telephone call to family or friends or a lawyer, those calls are recorded. And anything you say in those calls can later come back and be used against you in court.